49 and it looks like we're about to get a little daylight here.
look at that terracotta roof and those brick arches. Oh, and these beams in here, light fixtures. It's like solid giant bricks. I mean, this is just a rest area. Now I have to say, I've been to a lot of places that say, you know, beware of the alligators and stuff, but I have never seen a warning, beware of poisonous snakes. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. going on with it there's a lady in the car next to me I don't want to freak her out just come to this side oh the hood's already popped let's just look in there definitely lots of coolant on the ground start by looking at the hoses this hose looks fine that hose looks okay Coolant in the overflow. Could just be a line. And apparently when I took the cap off and started draining somewhere. There it is right there dripping. Where? Where is it coming from? Put there. There. Squeeze a hose here. Oh, oh, where'd that come from? Right there. Right there. What is that? That's it. It's a hole. Do a hole right there. I don't think you can see it. Let's see. See this hole. Right there. Oh, so where's that going to? So it goes from here to this tube. And that's it. So I just need, I just need a piece of tubing that big. Man, that is awesome. Well, I brought all that stuff for nothing. So, this tube to right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this line off. If I can, just better access. Come on. I'm going to have to get a screwdriver. I'm going to use a Phillips head because it's less likely to 
scratch. Ugh, come on now. There you go, I see you moving. Tripod fell apart. There it is. Look at that blow out there. It just feels like a sponge. It's just so soft. All he had was this hose right here. It looks a little bit larger, but he said he didn't have anything smaller. All right, I need to get some gas and make a pit stop. Okay, traffic was terrible, and I ended up having to go check into my hotel before I came back. And long story short, I was kind of crunched for time and was afraid I wasn't going to get this done while it was daylight. So I went ahead and tested the first hose, and it did not fit. So, so it appears AutoZone had the right size, I hope. Definitely smaller than the advanced auto one. All right, got that hose on there. You can see it right there. Right there. Had to cut it a little bit, but that one from AutoZone did work. Let me put this back on there. Alright, now I just need to put this tube back on and put some coolant in it. Time for coolant. So I top that off, you can see, all the way to the top. I'm gonna warm the engine up, turn the thermostat all the way on hot, and let it circulate through everything, get the air out, and then top it off again, and double check my overflow. So just gonna let this get nice and warm, stay warm for a little while, make sure the thermostat opens fully up, and lets coolant flow through the whole system. Turn this to hot. Some people say you have to turn on your air too, just in case there's uh, something connected, like a servo or some sort of relay or electronic thing that won't actually open the valve on this. It does kind of feel electronic. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat on. Just low, so I know it's flowing through the heater core and get any air out of there. Looks like it's warm. This top hose is hot and feels full, so that's a good sign. Oh yeah. Yep, so apparently this radiator has been replaced. Here's another good sign. Um, more coolant seems to be filling up the overflow, which means that this is staying full and pushing it out through the overflow tube into the overflow canister or reservoir. Working on his Testarossa right here while the drawbridge is going up. Where did she park? She sent me a picture of her car. There it is. There she is. In this nice little live oak where there's a live oak. I worked on it last time. Well, no, I actually worked on it in that parking lot over there, but So we'll check it out, take another little drive. 
Okay, what I'm looking for now is the coolant overflow. See if it's still up high enough. So the coolant, when you warm the engine up, it expands and it goes out this tube and into the overflow. And then when it cools off, there's another tube connected to this that goes all the way to the bottom and it siphons the liquid back up into the radiator. So it's always topped off. That's why you really only have to check as long as there's no holes in these hoses or anything, you only have to check your overflow to make sure you got enough coolant. Right now it's, it is at the, I think it's at the full mark. And it's like a centimeter, a couple of centimeters below the full mark. I mixed up some new 50-50 yesterday. So I had some pre-mix 50-50 and I used it all up. So you take distilled water and concentrated coolant if you want to do it the cheaper way than just buying 50-50 mix because what you want in general in most climates you want 50% coolant 50% water distilled water don't use regular tap water it has minerals and stuff that can corrode things always buy the distilled water just like you drink at Walmart you know grocery store wherever and just if you have an empty 50-50 jug you can just fill up half with water and half with the concentrate and so that's what I did so I've got a fresh jug topped off and we're just going to add some to that and we're going to take her car for a drive brake fluid's good power steering fluid you can't see it but I actually checked I pulled this little red tab and it's up to the top it's good the rest of her hoses look good I'm seeing current leaks so Let's take it for a drive. Let's top this off first, actually. I won't film me topping this off, but we'll top it off. And I'll probably leave the jug in her car just in case. Let's get the windows down. This is a typical street in West Palm, not on the island, in kind of the, one of the historic areas. I love the terracotta roofs. I wish we had terracotta or slate or cement or something where I'm from. I wish I could do mine in that. I don't know if it could take it, but some of these roofs are, you know, like probably close to a hundred years old. many different kinds of palm trees down here. This car just drives so smooth. I mean, it doesn't pull any more than it Use should. the right lane to take exit 61 onto Lantana Road. Now I'm just waiting to top off her air and her tires before I leave the car to her. So we're about to cross on the island here, this bridge, this is a drawbridge. but this is the breakers through these. Here we come up. That's kind of cool. It's kind of a classic little what, Greek revival. I don't know what they call them. Everybody's got their little private beach houses. Definitely build them better down here, at least on this part. Look at 
at these squiggly plantings. That's kind of cool. mixed driving I'm going to pop the hood one more time and look everything over make sure nothing's leaking or going down and um, then I'm gonna get out of here yeah look at that overflow stay in full all right good to go all right she's got oil she's got full thing of coolant all her tires are topped off. I even left a manual in case she has someone who wants to work on her car down here. Oh, I left a window down. Oh, I gotta get that radiator out. All right, we are out of here.
this is what it's supposed to feel like.